G'day everyone, Connor here from CW's Tech Reviews, back with another video. And today we're going to be having a look at how to install Superstock ROM on the Galaxy S7. Uh, this is a fantastic ROM, it's uh, based on Android 7.0. It's been deep loaded and it runs amazing. So I'm going to just do a, show you how to do a quick install through the Aroma and a quick look at the ROM once it's been set up. So nothing too fancy, just a quick how to install and a quick overview. So without further ado, let's get stuck into it. Alrighty, so the first thing we're going to do is go into our recovery. Which I just did through BusyBox, mind you. And there we are in Team Win Recovery Project. I'm going to go in, I'm going to do an advanced wipe and wipe everything except my internal storage because if I do that, I won't have a ROM. But if I do in, in wipe everything on my internal in storage, I won't be able to install anything. So a quick wipe, just like so. And back to home, install. Super stock ROM and swipe. And then if everything goes to plan like it just shows you there, Aroma will open up and it says um, terms and conditions. Basically you're taking a big risk and it's your own risk. And it says have you really read it? Blah blah blah. I'm going to go installation, start fresh fresh installation, full wipe, um, I'm going to go with the stock CSC in it, I don't want to play around with that, it works fine with the one that's stock, super stock kernel, and keep my current recovery, I'm going to go with stock build prop tweaks, and no other tweaks down the bottom. Magisk, yes, I'm going to install that. Super SU, BusyBox, and Viper 4 Android. Will be applied. Sound mod level three. Stock emoji. I'm not going to update my modem, I don't need to, and I'm not going to update my bootloader. Enable ad blocker by default. I'm going to leave pretty much all those Samsung apps there because there's not many. And I'm going to install Google now, install now. So as you can see, it's running through formatting system, mounting petitions, full wipe, extracting system. This part doesn't take too long. First reboot may take a few minutes. It can also loop a few times. Do not interrupt the process. Install in Magisk. 10, version 10.2 for systemless mods. Installing BusyBox. Installing Viper Atmos. Backing up Aroma, blah blah blah. Please reboot now. Script succeeding. Result was successful. Reboot system. Now this is going to run through the typical Android setup, so I won't bore you with the whole process. I will skip through to the final look of what the ROM's like when it's installed. Now, as you can see, it's uh, going through the normal boot process. This will take about five minutes, so um, I won't make you sit through that. 
Okay everyone, so here we are with the ROM all set up. Uh, you, we've been through the installation and here is the ROM itself. It's super stock version 2.4. Uh, now when the ROM was initially installed, I've all set it up now with all my apps, but pretty much what you see on this page here is the apps that were installed on it. There might have been a couple other Google apps, but everything else I've installed. Um, the ROM itself is super fast, super smooth. I haven't had any problems with it at all, and uh, S Health is working fine. Um, all the sensors on it are working fine. The camera's working fine. I've had no force closes, no bugs whatsoever. So definitely a thumbs up to the developer of this ROM, uh, super stock. Um, even though it's called Superstock, you still do have the App Edge, which is um, not part of the Galaxy S7, just the flat version. This is part of the Galaxy S7 Edge, obviously. But they've installed this on here as well, so you've got your calendar, your news, your weather, frequently used apps and your contact. Go into your settings for it, and you can add in heaps of other stuff, CNN, internet, device maintenance, finance, um, quick tools, sports, Samsung music. So I've got enough on there. I actually don't use the app edge too much. Um, everything else is, you know, those apps are just, just as quickly accessed just by going here. So it's not too much of a fuss for me. Um, also comes with BusyBox, SuperSU and Magisk Manager. Um, and the ATA updater, as you can see, there is no ROM update at this time. So I've only just recently installed it. It's running wonderfully, no problems whatsoever. So definitely, like I said before, thumbs up to the developer of this ROM. He's done an amazing job. I'll put links down below to the ROM um, and also links to his other ROMs. He's got a couple of ROMs, so definitely worth checking out. Get amongst it. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one. Check ya.